Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back, everybody, to Islands. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you do enjoy, smash the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section. So, in the previous episode, we almost... Oh, by the way, it has been an update to the game. And uh, let me show you what is possible. You know, we got our crew on the ship over here. And for reasons unknown, I kind of... I don't know. I kind of grown fond of them now. But uh, what they've done in this latest update is this. We can now smash away those dummies from ships which means the crew is gonna get a little bit thinner but i'm gonna keep a few guys because i don't know i guess they've got a little bit of sentimental values to me but uh, what did we do in the previous episode we almost finished the arts gallery and i i don't know like it's cool it's a cool little project side project we can put all the like the treasures and paintings we find and just have something out of it all right and take a peek at this <laughs> my, my eyes my, my eyes no it's this one <laughs> my eyes i could see but what i want to do in don't spike me no game don't spike me now da, 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 da. what i want to do in today's episode is <laughs> game <laughs> okay i want to bring up the road a little bit uh, i want to turn it around here and make a road going somewhere up here then on this side somewhere a barn and maybe some farm fields or whatnot. Just some small little side projects, because I've been thinking about a barn for absolutely forever, but I haven't really got to that yet. So making a barn up there would not be a bad thing. Like, we could remove tons of uh, forest around here and make the barn there instead and have just farm fields back of the house. But then again, a road, a farmhouse, or a barn is going to be amazing. And I'm going to bring you guys back in as soon as we get a little bit of progress. And also, what I need to do is get some... Uh, what you're going to call them? Horses. Ah, yikes, caramba. There might not be any more horses around. Uh, I have been killing quite a bit of uh, stuff around the island. I don't think we can see gender on horses. They're like... Hmm. What do you make, babies? I just don't know. Like, how do they multiply? But because the bunnies definitely multiply, right? Like Irish almost. But the horses, how do they do? How do they do? Like, I can feed you stuff. You can become my friend, right? We can also bring back Derpy to this place somehow. But I just don't know how to how how they multiply. We can even maybe try out the Tesla coils in this part. <laughs> the Tesla coils and bunnies. It's gonna be an amazing combination. And by the way, if I sound tired, I am tired. I got this little thing with my, my, my kid in the daycare, as I said in the previous one. <laughs> and it's like super early mornings. And then we, you spend time <laughs> all day with like two-year-olds. And it's like, my face is super tired. My, my brain can't take it. But uh, we're going to do the best out of it, all right? So let me just do some stuff. We Well, we have three horses, so we can bring that to the farm if that's going to be a thing. We will see, all right? But uh, let me just get some progress in how, what he's happened... Okay, now I'm upset. What has happened over here? How does it... How has... Who's done this? There we go. Oh, man. Um. Okay, mistakes have been made. It's not really me who's making the mistakes. Well, maybe it is. Can I sit in the car? Okay, I picked a window, which is terrible. There we go. Perfect. Done it. I saved it. I saved this guy at least. The other guy is a little bit stuck, but I don't know. How the crap did this happen? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait, wait up. Everybody, it's something, okay? We've got something. It's a little road system going up the mountain over here, and I love it. I love this little bend over here. And I love that so much. I'm kind of regretting that we didn't do them over here, but... Uh, I guess it is what it is. It's outside the border. I'm not. I'm not really intending to remove all that stone. So, uh, I, it, it looks nice. It looks nice. And now, a sinking of it, the barn. I kind of want to have the barn over here. But wouldn't this place be just fantastic for like a big mansion? Can you just imagine like a little driveway up here with a little fountain in the middle? But I, I, I no. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's just do a barn. The idea was barn. Uh, I can still sleep on a little a pad on the floor. Like a little like. Uh, grass pad i don't care about mansions i just want to do a barn but first things first i'm just gonna see if that uh, that a car over here or that little like truck is gonna make the way up the, the mountain 
Hopefully he will. And let me see. Can I? Okay. Uh, easy, steady. Oh, yeah. This is this is this is terrible. This is like we will make it eventually, but it's gonna take ages to just get out of the little car garage. Okay. This is a little bit of a hazard. And now is this bend. This bend is not really made for big trucks. Um, we will widen that path a little bit, so don't worry about that. And there should be a bend over here as well, because there's no bend. Like the small car, it's not going to have any issues with this whatsoever. Uh, game, don't spike me now. But the big ones, yeah, they have such a hard time. Yeah, look at that. See how nicely that bend performs. Well, kind of. <laughs> it's just my driving skills, which are non-existent. But then having a little, like, what you're going to call it, a barn here. Then we can park a little, like, farm truck here, for example. Let's say this is a farm truck. That would work, now wouldn't it? I, that is gonna be something. Okay, so what we what we just noticed is that the door opens. That's kind of kind of great, but if we can make like is is a little bit of a pain in the butt getting the trucks up here and whatnot. But it's it's totally doable, and maybe we can make a small little truck on the small chassis because they are they are smaller, and so much more agile to climb hills. Yeah, if anybody building road systems, make sure you make them. This is like seven, 14 tiles, 14 small tiles in width or something, and it's not sufficient whatsoever. As you can see, it's, 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 it works, but it takes ages. Uh, okay, let's just park this guy over here. So I'm just standing here and sinking a little bit. How do we want to do it? Like, should we just do a classic barn? Because I've done classic barns in the past, not in this game, but in other games, and... I think I know how to get by and doing one of those. However, one thing which you want to do, how much How much is it for a hay bale or ball, bale, hay bale, uh, 20 hay. And that's just a pile of hay, that's 10, okay. I just want to see, I know I can just, I guess, place it and see how big it's going to be, but I just want to place one, just to kind of envision my thing over here. But we need to find a lot more hay. <gasps> You guys see that? The bunny infestation is back. And um, previously when we dug for John Doe, we did not really find anything. But maybe tables have turned. Maybe we're gonna find something here. There's a lot of stone, there's a little, little grave thingy. Well, the thing I wanted to find is kind of like his stuff. A gun or even like some clothes, clothes piece. That would be amazing. Okay, that's hay. That's hay, so that's not grass. Interesting. Okay. So we're gonna do a little classic barn, like a classic barn design. Nothing like super spectacular, nothing really fancy, just a little classic barn. But what I, what I wanted to see here is if we would place, make one of those hay things, a uh, hay belt. How big is this guy? Okay, so let's say we would place, there's gonna be a little fence going alongside here. So let's say we would start placing the hay belts about here could have those hay bells going alongside the whole barn itself and the barn entrance or the barn itself could be going maybe dug into this little like hill of some type i, I, I just don't know okay but let's just start this so what i want to do is classic barn let's go for beams and uh, let's go a lot of beams let's go like that in the beam department uh we would need some of those cubes i guess that would be kind of required and then roof pieces but uh, <laughs> let's not let's not yet okay let's just start like this um i'm gonna be using those uh, plank blocks they're gonna be this is gonna be expensive as hell but let's start here and let's maybe start a little like pillar of the barn here just to give it some more space for, for decorations on the side of the barn, okay? Uh, brace yourself, everybody. We in for, for a ride. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. You can do it. Get down on it. There we go. And the height of the barn itself. How big do we want to have it? Okay, let's just start like this to, to begin with, okay? It's going to be like one of those like red and white barns, I guess. Mainly because I like them. And um, if we would place those here. So that is one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's just do it. So if that is four, six, seven, eight, maybe. 
it's gonna be just much easier to, for us to count stuff and then we would have another pillar over here for example and that would be like the, the barn entrance and then we also could have some windows over here okay just everybody let's just brace yourselves okay we, because we're in for this and it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a grindy and painful experience we could have a window on on this how did we place the windows on everything else i'm thinking that is on the third layer right a third block or a tile which means there would be a window here. Something like this. So if we would have a window here, that is four, so that is two window pieces. And then we just kind of close that off with one more beam on the top of it. Like this. Okay, it looks a little bit suspicious. It's not exactly like beautiful yet. <laughs> but it's, it's gonna be something, okay. Like those plank blocks, this is a joy to build with, but they cost, like one of those little like cubes as you see here, is five planks, so there's one log each. I still have like a ch uh, double chest, I think, or a chest filled with logs. So we're still pretty much in the clear when it comes to the build over here, but uh, soon we will be out of logs, everybody. Out of logs. Okay, uh, can you just do this across... How many layers is that? It's gonna be four layers until we reach the top. There we go. Something like this. Don't judge this yet. Because now, let's see here. We just pick. Uh, we're gonna have white, which is gonna be 254, 254, 254. So the white would be on this place over here, right? So that's gonna be white. All the like main pillars or structures are always gonna be white. And then it's going to be white here around the window. This is just testing purposes, okay? I'm not really sure we're going to keep that that way. But that looks quite nice. And then the rest, what we're going to do is just go pick this color, which is like 255 in the, in the red department. And paint this red. Okay, this might not be how we want to have it. But we will see. Like, this place, I know we're kind of like pot committed to all those like wood materials all over the place, but it just needs a little bit of color. Okay, so if I would start the barn, we just... Mm. It's not going to be bad, everybody. It's Well, it's going to be a little bit mech, maybe. And it's going to cost a lot of pigments. I do have, I believe, like six, seven hundred of the red ones. But, uh, well, there's a lot of sumac flowers which are gonna die again. It's not bad. It's not bad. On, on, and then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have this going across. Uh, okay, we, you, you what? There we go. And just to have a middle point, let's place one small tile. That's gonna be like the middle point of the whole like roof structure. And then this. And then we're just gonna bring it down again. It's gonna be super easy to count for us. Uh, so I'm not worried about that, but that goes on the side. Which means, if we would bring the car over here, the car should be able to get into the barn without any biggie, because it's, what was it, 8 wide? And the car, oh no. Oh no, no, it's gonna be 10 wide, 9 wide, right? Because of the middle piece over here. So, boom, shakalak, that's 8 and 9. Okay, so the car is not going to be having any problems getting in and out from the, from this place whatsoever. Well, she should not have any problems, at least. Okay, we need to... We need to... We need to... We need to flatten the ground a little bit more. And that is 8, I believe. Yes, indeed it is. Is, well, is that going to be like... Is this going to be too small, maybe? Well, it's just going to be for horses and some hay. This is just going to be for decoration purposes, I guess. We could maybe have... Oh, that would be kind of cool having. Like a, a, like a glass house somewhere about. And what goes for the roof? We're going to do... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on here. We're going to do like the classic uh, barn-style roof. Pretty much as similar as, as my house itself. Like the first house we've built on this place. That has got a nice type of roof um, structure to it. I think at least... Perfect. Boom, 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 and boom. Squirt all over the place. I'm gonna regret this so much because everything here is just wood, right? This is gonna stand out so much. I, well, you know what? We will see, all right? But what it goes for roof, let's do something a little bit different when it comes to materials. I'm gonna be using some of the stone 
And also, let me see here, roof pieces. Roof. This one over here. Let's just get a few of those pieces as well. And, well, you know what? Let's start with a stone just to get a shape right to begin with. We're going to start here. And we're going to do this. We're going to flip it around and rise it up. And let's start, okay, a full tile outside. Maybe here. Yeah, let's let's go for... Oh, man, it looks a little bit strange, but let, let it be for the moment. That is five. So we're going to do the same pretty much thing on this side. We're just bring it up by five. So we just get the shape right. There should be a middle point since we place the little like middle block by one piece just in the middle of the whole like door frame. So there should be a middle point to this. That is four, right? So just one more. Okay, that is five. Uh, does it look symmetrical? It pretty much does. And then what we're going to do, instead of using uh, this, we're going to do this. We're going to turn it a little bit. By the way, can I craft more of those? Indeed I can. Let's just get a few extra of those. We're going to turn that using the small ones. And what this actually allows us to do is get a nice, a nice underneath shape. I'm going to show you that uh, very shortly, right? Okay, that, that is the turn point. And then we turn the whole roof itself. So that is one, uh, two. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be bad, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be about three tiles in the middle. We could just have a little flat piece on the roof. Yeah, but what I was saying, like adding this small triangle piece over here, allows us to have a nice shape. Let me show you. Because if I would, if I do this now, uh, place those upside down uh, roof patterns. We go all the way to the little small triangle shape there. And then what we could do is just turn it uh, like this and continue the shape upwards. And that gives us a nice shape here, as you can see. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> We're not pot committed, everybody, okay? I kind of want to make a tweak. And uh, it's definitely going to take a while. But uh, for, the, for the greater good, I think so. Thank you. We only have a few remaining. Let's grab that. Um, I kind of want to have the outer border out of wood instead. Mainly because when you paint the wood, it turns really wide. When you paint the stone, it turns it turns whitish, but it's not, it's not like it's still like the gray tint of, of the of the of the stone in it. Girls have a Snickers. Better? Much better. Well, that took some time, but at least I'm happy with it, okay? So now that is super wide. And now, using the wood pieces, we're gonna place exactly the same shape, but as you can see, there's gonna be... This is gonna be just like a flat texture on the outside, and this is gonna be like this nicely looking texture here. However, this over here, I wanna paint it. Uh, let's see here. I wanna paint it... I see a red door and I wanna paint it black. I kinda wanna have like a like a grey tint. You know what? Let me see here. Do we have any stones available? Yes we do. Uh, pick that material. Okay, and then go maybe to a little bit the darker tint. And let's see here. Uh, not too shabby, I guess. So that's gonna be white, and that's gonna be like this grey tint on of it. Of the roof itself. Like corrugated metal type of, uh, or aluminum, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but it's going to be looking quite nice. I think we're going to go for that, and what goes for the front here, you know what, we will need to close it off uh, eventually, so let's go, uh, let's go like this. We're going to have that pillar block going up, that's going to be going up by maybe two more. Hmm, interesting. And then the third one up here is gonna be this, maybe? But <laughs> that's gonna require quite a few of them. But it's gonna be my little barn. Oh, okay. Let, let me get to it. Let me get some progress in on this guy. What you guys think about this? Like, it's a kind of classical barn shape now, isn't it? And then we're gonna have this, like, loft for hay and whatnot. Uh, however, I'm debating on one thing, and that is uh, the plank blocks. It's gonna be just too expensive to build a whole structure out of it. Maybe the sides could be just no more... 
sometimes they've d- d- done that in the in the back in the days, right? They can like made like a house front or the front of the house like beautiful, and the back is kind of like a little bit on the cheaper side because nobody's gonna really see it, right? So maybe we can cheat a little bit on the sides with just using plank blocks or not planks blocks, just the beams or whatnot, because that is gonna be so much cheaper. But uh, I the game don't spike me now. I think I like it, especially like having the roof in the gray tint. That's gonna look quite uh, quite awesome. I did plant, I think, like around forty five sumac uh, over here, because I need uh, I need that for the for the red uh, red pigments. Holy crap! It's gonna require quite a bit of that as well. Okay, everybody, we've got a shape. Man, this is a little bit tricky. Size wise, I think we got a decent size. Like, I don't think it's gonna be bigger than this. However, this road is gonna be extended. It might even go into a tunnel and then just disappear from the face of the earth. Uh, just to kind of like make something out of it. it. Would be kind of cool having an entrance or an exit on the back somehow or on the side. To like a little pasture of some type. But it's not necessary at the end of the day, I guess. So I need to build this building out of those uh, plank blocks. I just need to do that. I think it's gonna look really, really nice, especially like seeing this. How game don't spike me now. How the sun hits it and it kind of gives the shade. I think it just looks really, really sweet. Yeah, it does. But uh, yeah, let me get those plank blocks. Let me paint it. How my sumac uh, farm going over here? Well, it's uh, becoming a sumac farm. We just need the flowers. This actually looks really, really cool. And like the the, the root systems out of it. Interesting. That's possibilities. Anyhow, everybody, let's get to it. And welcome back, everybody. So I've been tinkering about for quite a bit of time, and I'm starting to love it quite a bit. I even brought the track back up here just to kind of get get the full feel for it. And man, it's becoming it's becoming a little barn. I don't know. <laughs> like it just feels like it's the total wrong place for it, I guess. But I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm kind of thinking about adding those windows over here. Uh, game, please don't spike me. This is usually what happens. It spikes a lot. It's, it does spike a lot. Having those and maybe paint them white. What do you guys think about that? Might be just too much white. Uh, nah, 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 <laughs> that actually looks really nice. I did not place that window on that side, and it's not done on the inside, like, <laughs> it is so freaking costly, like, uh, like, let me just show you, let me just paint those white as well. Like, this little segment here, like, that little segment, I mean, between those white beams, right, that is about 150-something logs. So I did cheat it up here a little bit, just placing the beams, because uh, that is not visible from the outside. So I was like, I'm not wasting, I'm not wasting the plank blocks. I just don't know how, why they are so expensive. I, I like, like, I don't know. Like one log makes one little blob of plank block. It's just not, I don't know. And by the way, this fencing. So I've been trying out different fencing and in the game, and let me show you this. I did try like the, the like the white picket fences, uh, but I, I I don't know. I, I kinda I'm kinda I kinda grew fond of that one we have over here. Let me show you this, however. So this looks something like this. I have not really used it yet. Uh, and obviously that would not be placed like that, but that would be placed like this, I believe. There we go. So that's a kind of little turning point. Like it looks amazing. Uh where is it? Uh okay. Sp <laughs> oh framey. Uh it looks amazing, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, for a farm and this, I just like that. Especially like placing like uh, grass pieces around it and some stones and whatnot. I think this is just a win-win scenario. So we're gonna go with that, I guess. However, on the inside, I do have a slight bit of problem. Because what I'm thinking, I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not gonna finish this today. That's like impossible, well, it is not impossible, but uh, I'm not grinding all the materials. No, 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 no way. I did, however, plant trees. Have they grown over here? Um... Indeed. So we have about there, I guess there's like 50 tall oak trees or something. That is about here. So then we can just extend it upwards. And we're going to see where do we want to have the, the attic placed. Like this would be quite a, quite, quite a decent elevation, wouldn't it? But then again, we do have this hole here. And for that hole, we would need some type of crane. Well, it's not going to be a crane now, is it? But it's going to be... We can just maybe place a little like a metal... Uh, 
What you gonna call them? They're the ones we used here on the on the on the workshop, like on the sides thereabouts. So we can maybe use that just to kind of bring it out and give it some 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 nice shape. But here, however, how do we do? How do we do this? Let's see. We would paint them white as well. There's gonna be some floor, right? What do we do with the floor? Uh, you know what? Let me see here. There is a panel floor. Which has a little thing underneath it. It's not that one. That one is the one we've used. But I think it's this one. That has like a little like beam structure underneath. I don't think... How, how does it look in a barn? I've never been in a barn. Do they have the floor all the way up here? And then you kind of bring, out the, bring in the hay bells and then you just roll. You know what? Let's have a little like fake situation. Let's get this guy. And then what we do is take those... And then just place the beams around here somehow. And then we can just fill in the floor, I guess. Because that is going to be going that direction as well. And then we can maybe just use... I don't even know. I don't even know. But the question is, how does this look from below? See, this is what this is what I love. There's a shape. There's a really nice shape to it. It's not bad. It's kind of like supportive beams. Or just a little like beams underneath the floor itself. Uh, that is wrong. That is not bad whatsoever. And then we can also paint this. Like, maybe not white. But then again, it would look kind of cool having this white. Let me see how does that... How does that look? If we paint it all white. It's not bad! At the end of the day... I don't think that is bad whatsoever. In here, I believe... Can I make some discs? Because that would be a perfect uh, fit for that, uh, I guess. And that is five discs per each. And let's see. Hmm, interesting. One, two, three. Uh, per, per, uh, amazing! And then uh, this is going to be going like this. Maybe not. Let me see. Where is that? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's remove two of those. Because there is going to be a middle point to this as well. There we go. <laughs> the villain in this game with Corrales, one on one. Okay, this is... It's 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 taking some time. But the beauty of it. And painted wide. So then we can stand here and we can kind of receive the hay balls, bells, uh, whatever you call them. We can even extend this outwards maybe by, by a few extra tiles. And then we would need some ladders going up to this place as well. This is just a, this is just for testing purposes for today's episode, all right? But that looks... I like that. I like that shape a lot. And what goes for ladders? Uh, what do we need for those? Uh, I can make the, the iron ones, but I kind of want to make the wooden ones. Uh, beams. Beams, beams, beams. Looking for a good time. Let's just craft a few of those and put it down here. Okay, if I click it now... Okay, fair enough. It brings us all the way up. I don't know. It's not, it's not the best logical outcome of it, because I kind of want to have it a little bit higher. But we will see. But I just want, one thing I want to do as well is this little like metal thingy going out somehow. Here, maybe this could be it. Well, it's uh, it's something. So I did place one of those steel frames and some chains. I've been finding this when digging all the way around the world. And see, it's good that I didn't throw those away because I had quite a bit of them. And we can bring that down. I think we can even paint that. Can we? You. All right. Okay. It's maybe not. It's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. And then we can maybe. I haven't really like. What do we do? A hook situation. Is there any tool which resembles a hook? Not that we need one. <laughs> An umbrella. That's got a hook. Um, a walking stick would work as well, I guess. There might be a few extra ones, which I don't really like uh, see over here now, but uh, there's possibilities to it. So, it's something, okay? I'm not going to continue this today, but you guys will have to let me know what you want to see. Uh, like, I think I'm going to continue this in the next one, because I kind of want to finish this area. But what I want to do is get, I don't know, like, landscape all this down somehow, maybe even. I just want to have some farms around here. Like, real farms. Like, real, it's not really real, because it's a game, but you know what I mean, just farmlands and stuff. With uh, wheat, or grain, or whatever you call it, maybe sugarcane, not sugarcane, uh, 
those uh, corns, <laughs> those corns. I mean, that would look really, really nice, wouldn't it? I just want to have one of those as well. Let me see. Can I just put it down here? Like about here. Small things in life. That doesn't look too shabby whatsoever. Could have one on the entrance, but I'm just afraid that uh, the truck is not going to squeeze in. And here we're going to have just a few of those like horse uh, compartments. I think in the far end about here. Just having like, like two or three of those that so we can just hunt down some horses and have inside of the barn with all the hay and whatnot. Hey, hey now. Make it look nice. Perfect. I love it. What do you guys think? Like, hopefully somebody gets an inspiration. It's not done, but at least we have a, the good side of it to show. Like, especially for a thumbnail, <laughs> I think that's gonna work. <laughs> Oops. Like, <laughs> perfect. This frames is for a thumbnail. However, what what trees would go in a farm? Like birch would kind of work, I guess. Oak trees, but the oaks are quite small. Having just a big tree on the entrance here, some above, that would look so amazing. Maybe even here. Acacia is not a bad thing to have because of the, the all the like leaves going out and whatnot. That might actually work somehow. Man, just seeing this from above, it's not it's not bad whatsoever. Like, it's coming to life, everybody, okay? The, the base itself. And uh, that is going to do it for today. I had a blast doing this. It's not done, as I said, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this so far. Uh, good, bad, ugly. What happens if we paint the fencing? Uh-huh, that's not bad. Because I think, like, painting... I don't think we can... Uh, did I say good, bad? Yes, I did. Painting this white is not white. Well, it's semi-white, but it's a little bit of this orange tint or pinkish tint. Then I'd rather just revert it back to the original state. Yeah, that is not bad. I, I kind of like that. 